What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna learn how to work with different time zones in your iOS app with Swift, and more importantly, how to simulate those different time zones. Half of me is also making this video because I wasted a ton of times figuring this out, so I don't wanna have to waste that time again, and I don't want you to have to waste it. So before we jump into things, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, let's open up Xcode 15, and let's jump into it. So we're gonna create a new project here. Uh, as we often do, we'll stick with an iOS app. Cool, we'll say time zone stuff. You can stick with uh, Swift UI or UI kit, doesn't really matter in the case of this video. We're mainly gonna look at how to simulate the time zone uh, as well as show a label with said time zone or with said date, I should say, which also incorporates a time zone. So let me expand our Xcode window here and I'm gonna pick a simulator and get this building and going while I blabber on so we don't waste time. We're gonna jump into our view controller and the first thing we're gonna to want to do is create a label. And in that label, we essentially wanna to show today's date. And you'll notice that a date takes a component, uh, which is time zone. So let's create a label and I'm gonna do this part very fast. This video is not meant to you know, go over how to add uh, UI elements, but I digress. Bear with me here while I add a label. We're gonna set text to something momentarily. Um, and I'm not gonna use constraints. I'm just going to uh, do this rather quickly with a frame. So we'll say 00, 0 200 by 50, and then we'll say a label. Uh, we want this to be centered on our screen. So we'll say label.center is view.center. And let's see if our simulator got its life together. It looks like it hasn't, which is rather strange. So let me try that one more time. All right. Let's see, let's see. All right, there it is. Okay, cool. Looks like our simulator wants to cooperate, but of course it's gonna boot rather slowly, but we should see a label in the center of our screen that says test on it. Um, while it's booting up here, let's create a date, and we're just gonna say today is date. Date gets created with uh, the current point in time, including uh, the day, year, month, uh, as well as the hour, minute, and second. And here we can say this is uh, today, uh, dot formatted. So I believe this is available as of iOS 16. Let me double check, make sure I'm not lying. Um, it looks like 12 actually. So I could have swore it was newer, but let's give this a run again. We should see a formatted date in this label. And cool, we do. We see January 10th, it's 7 11 a.m. Uh, I am on the East Coast. Um, don't ask me why I'm making a video so early, but uh, this is correct. So let's say in our application, we wanted to uh, just simulate from different places around the world and say, hey, like what happens if I open the app from London? So if you have a project with different locations. So often you would imagine, for those familiar, you can go into your uh, scheme up here and hit edit scheme. Let me actually show that again. You can hit edit scheme and in your, I believe, let's see where it is. I believe in, uh, your run, let's see if I could find where it is. And if you go to options, there is an option to simulate location. And a lot of times, and if you're off in Google, you'll actually find that this is what is kind of known to simulate location. Uh, and it indeed, indeed works for location, right? However, your time zone is not necessarily tied to your location. Uh, in the real world it is, but on your simulator it's it's not, right? So when you're simulating, um, let's say you're showing the current user's location on a map, by changing the location, that'll change, but your time zone won't. Um, and it begs the question of like, well, how on earth do you change the time zone? And if you often Google, you'll find that your simulator is picking your time zone up from your from your Mac, so your Mac time zone. So some people suggest, well, hey, go change your Mac time zone settings and system preferences, and that's absurd because we shouldn't have to you know, change real settings. Uh, and that led me to this little gem. So if you go to edit scheme and then you go into uh, the same kind of pane for run, all these like uh, options you see here, and you go into argument, you can actually add an argument inside of here. Now before I do this, let me actually um, do one more thing. So we're gonna say that this uh, is going to be today.formatted and we're gonna append in a string and this is going to be time zone time zone current and from a time zone current we can get an identifier or an abbreviation and we'll coalesce it to be a string with a dash if we can't get it so uh, america new york would be the identifier and the abbreviation would be est 
So let's give this a uh, build and run and let's see what this looks like. So it looks like this is indeed EST. And let's come back here into our um, scheme, edit scheme, and we're gonna hit add. And you can provide TZ and this can actually help you simulate your time zone. Now, what is a value? Uh, you can provide a abbreviation like EST or PST or Central Time or I'm not quite sure what the abbreviations in Europe are. Uh, or you can uh, provide the entire identifier. So let's take a small example and say PST. And let's just uh, close here and give this a run. And we should see, I believe, 4, uh, 14 a.m. Correct, PST. So it's saying time zone on current for this project. It's picking up PST. Um, and then if I want to use an identifier, I can come back and for the value, I can change this to Europe slash London. Uh, and if you're wondering where I'm getting these, you can actually uh, Google Apple developer time zones or just time zone reference. And iOS supports the vast majority of time zones. There's very few that it doesn't support that are very bespoke, but you'll find that it supports hundreds and hundreds of time zones. So. Uh, if you give this a run, we'll see that in Europe, it's, uh, well, London, I should say, it's 1215 GMT, right? So GMT being uh, on GMT, not adding or subtracting any hours. And if you want to actually see the uh, identifier that this is working with, you can actually, instead of showing the abbreviation, you can show the identifier itself and you don't need to coalesce it, which is why it's complaining there with the warning. And we'll see that this is uh, truncating my label, which is not good. So let me add label number of lines at zero so we can line break and go down. And we can see it's 12, 16 p.m. Europe, London. So uh, yeah, this is how you can simulate your time zone and working with different time zones in an iOS app. Super, super simple video, but hopefully this helps somebody out when you're you know, trying to simulate location and pulling your hair out why your time zone isn't updating with said location. Um, but that's all I've got for you guys today. Let me know if this is something you knew already, if this is documented somewhere that I just you know, couldn't find. Um, hit that like button before clicking away for new videos. If you're into iOS, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Feel free to connect on LinkedIn and all the other socials. Love interacting with all of you guys and hearing from folks who watch these videos. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.